delta wing. That's another feature. Can you see it there as it turns around? Now, the delta wing was a factor that could help the airplane carry a tremendous amount of fuel and give it strength. There's a great view of the delta wing. One engine. And because of its light weight and agility, it was a relatively small amount of thrust that propelled this airplane up to a very impressive speed range. The F-4B, in addition to being used by our Navy and Marine Corps, was then uh, passed on to the Argentine Navy and they enjoyed the airplane for a couple of years. Notable pilots that actually flew the A-4 in combat in Vietnam, Lieutenant Commander John McCain, the very same politician that you know as John McCain, prisoner of war, and also Commander James Stockdale, another of the A-4 pilots. Now today we're gonna have three airplanes in the air that are flown or have been flown by the United States Navy Blue Angels. This is one of them. This is the A-4. Now the Blues used this type of airplane, one of the models of the A-4, from the years uh, 1974, right up until the time the F-A-18, like the ones on the ramp, were introduced. There's the little not only a great attack airplane, but also a good air-to-air -air combat airplane was and is stressed to an amazing eight times the force of gravity positive and three times the force of gravity negative. It had the capability of being refueled by another A-4 or refueling another A-4. Why is that? Well, when you did not have dedicated air-to-air -air refueling, and one A-4 could refuel another with a sufficient load to get the mission done. The production run is said to be over 2,900 of these aircraft that came off the assembly line. A little over 500 of those were two-place trainer models. They were retired from the United States military inventory as called as the four-point hesitation mode in the year 2003. So a former Blue Angels aircraft, you're going to see the F-4 Phantom, which is also a former Blue Angels aircraft, which actually was in the air before this one. So the heritage was F-4, A-4, F-A-18, which uh, combined a fighter and attack aircraft. So you got three generations of Blue Angels airplanes that are going to be in the sky today. I'll tell you more about that as the uh, as time goes on now as the as the years went on they increased the thrust in the a4 and gave it even more performance coming right in over its sister ship the blue angels to be able to store as much fuel in the delta wings as possible to give the airplane range as paul wood does the slow roll. Rob and I saw this during rehearsal yesterday. We said, hey, that Paul Wood is good. You see a lot of civilian pilots doing a slow roll, a very difficult maneuver, but very seldom do we see a jet pilot doing the slow roll. Very graphic maneuver in that airplane with its delta wing jets. Back now to the way the landing gear was designed by Ed Heinemann of Douglas Aircraft and his very talented group. It is only the wheels themselves of the landing gear that stow up into the wings. By doing that, it allowed for more fuel in those delta wings. The actual struts of the gear were held in an enclosed area external of the wings. So it's another unique feature of the aircraft that gave it so much capability. A means attack, and it could carry for its small size and single engine Capability. It could carry an amazing amount of stores underneath the wing. Look low and to your left now. Paul Wood, our pilot, has got the airplane down to a slow speed flyby. Used by the Navy, as I mentioned, and the Marine Corps, and we are celebrating 100 years of Marine Corps aviation this year. Alfred Cunningham was the first lieutenant to solo an airplane in Annapolis 100 years ago in a Wright Brothers biplane. Hail Herbert Downs! And then it was the gear down, the flaps fold down, make the speed slow, and the landing gear 
helicopter down, and that is the tail hook down. Now the airplane's dimensions were so favorably small that this is one of the few fighters or attack aircraft operating off the deck of an aircraft carrier that did not have to have folding wings, another advantage of the airplane. So Heinemann's crew from Douglas Aircraft really hit the nail on the head. They came up with a, a winning aircraft. Introduced into the military, thank you, Rob Ryder, in 1956, as I mentioned to you before. And the Blues operated the airplane. Well, that was a long run for the A-4s. That was 1974 to 1986 that the airplane was in service, only to be replaced by the Blue Angels aircraft that you see on the ramp, right behind the A-4 now. <laughs> Looks fast, it is fast. Carries a variety of external stores. The early A-4s could carry 8,200 pounds on five different stations, or hard points, two 20 millimeter machine guns. And its major role was in Southeast Asia. A4 also used by several nations, including, as we mentioned, Argentina was used by the Australians and used by the Israelis with great success. Oh, yeah, we saw this the other day, too. It was Paul was rehearsing. Our pilot is Paul Wood. Pulling to the vertical and starting a roll with the Delta Wings, capping it off on top. You know, Rob, uh, I knew uh, I knew about to the to move right into about 2005 or six. We were doing some test flying in, outside of Tucson, Arizona, and at the airport south of us, a civilian known airport, all of a sudden here comes an A4, and it's parked on the side of the hangar. And then a couple weeks later, another one. Pretty soon there were five out there, oh. and I knew they had been released probably by the Argentines or out of David Davis Monthan. Uh, Boneyard, just south of Tucson, had been released to the owners, and that coincides with the 2003 retirement of the of the airplane from our military. That means civilians, if you want to buy one or you want to buy 12, go ahead. And I know some people that did buy a half a dozen or eight or nine or ten. One of the other remarkable things about how tight that cockpit is, I mean, it's a small airplane, but there's not much room for the pilot. You can't have a big guy flying it. Or he's going to be a little claustrophobic. By the way, the airplane was used